Peace be upon you all and welcome to my channel. Are you a fan of stories? Have you ever pondered what they truly are, or wondered how many types of stories there are? Are you interested in the real stories of real people, whether they're famous or not, and their tales narrated by themselves or by their loved ones? Well, today is a treat for you. Allow me to introduce Olivia Langdon, from a time long past, as she unveils the tale of her love, Mark Twain. Greetings from the 19th century, everyone. I am Olivia Langdon. Today, I journey through time to share the story of the love of my life, Mark Twain. Yes. My love, please continue. Samuel was born in 1835, in the tiny town of Florida, Missouri, but grew up in Hannibal, a place which later breathed life into his novels. His childhood by the Mississippi River was adventurous and it shaped his tales. He was one of seven children born to John Marshall Clemens, a judge, and Jane Lampton Clemens. But life was not always easy. He lost his father at eleven and soon started working, first as a printer's apprentice, and then as a journalist, writing articles for a local paper. Remember his riverboat days? Those weren't just adventures but a livelihood. That's when he adopted the name Mark Twain, signaling safe waters. Seeking fortune, he ventured west. He dabbled in mining, but soon turned to what he did best, writing. It was his whimsical story about a jumping frog that gave him his first taste of fame. Our paths crossed, and we got married in 1870. Together, we experienced life's roller coaster in our beautiful home in Hartford, Connecticut, a place where he penned some of his greatest works like Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn. Life was a mix of joy and trials. In our home, our house brimmed with the laughter of our children, Langdon, Susie, Clara, and Jean. The pain of losing our son Langdon as a toddler, and later Susie and Jean in their adulthood, was heart-wrenching. Only Clara survived us, leaving behind a lineage. Financial challenges forced Mark to tour the world giving lectures. Despite it all, his humor, wit, and wisdom touched many, from Queens to the common man. Today, Mark's direct bloodline has ended, but his legacy? Immortal. His great granddaughter, Nina Gabrilowicz, was the last known direct descendant and she passed away in 1966. Our Hartford home? It stands tall, now as a tribute museum to his legacy, preserving Mark's spirit for all. He left this world in 1910, but his stories, his legacy, remain ageless. We are now together in eternity, but our story lives on. What did you learn from this tale of a real life legend? How has Mark Twain's journey resonated with your own? Share your insights in the comment section. From the Mississippi to hearts worldwide. That's Mark Twain for you. If you enjoyed this journey, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more tales from history's treasure chest. Thanks for watching.